Hi, everyone, and good morning to you all here. We're coming to you live, uh, bright and early, on the first day of DCD Connect London. Uh, and I'm, yeah, we're, we're just starting the show. We haven't uh, even, I think people are still sort of arriving and, and getting things set up, but I'm pleased to be here with you. I'm joined by ba Walid Zafar, who's the Mission Critical Director of XYZ Reality. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, I managed to get my morning coffee in. So you did? Good. I have not done that yet. <laughs> Maybe I will. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell our audience a little bit about XYZ Reality? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, started the business back in 2017 uh, with a pretty simple mission of enabling construction teams around the world to be able to build a right the first time. Uh, and in order to be able to do that, we set out on this journey of being able to develop the world's most accurate augmented reality headset, uh, such that builders out on site can actually position those holograms in the field and build it right the first time. So can you tell us a little bit about how XYZ Reality is leveraging augmented reality to enhance efficiency and construction of mission critical infrastructure? Yeah, sure thing. So we went about and developed our own augmented reality headset specific for the construction industry itself. So sort of the hardware solution, the software piece and the cloud piece as well. Um, and how we're leveraging it today is by enabling teams out on site to be able to visualize that design model actually physically on the site itself with that millimeter accuracy such that if they can see what they need to build, they're going to build it right the first time. And if they build it right the first time, that eliminates the rework and clashes from these project sites itself today. And from the mission critical standpoint, we've been in this space for the last seven years as well. And we have two objectives whenever we get deployed out on site. One, uh, being able to reduce the cost per megawatt by improving the quality of the build process itself. And objective two is improving their speed to market. And so we've seen a number of instances where we've been able to accelerate construction schedules by up to two months. So they're actually beating the RFS date by two months itself. So, yeah. Oh, how do, uh, this, this is very topical, I find. I mean, it's amazing the work that you're doing. And it's, I, you know, as I said before, it's so nice to have you join us here today to be able to hear a little bit about this. But, you know, how do you see AI impacting mission critical projects? AI is the big yep. buzz, right? I mean, people have been talking about it for years, but even it just seems to be accelerating in terms of the the importance and, and how people are, are applying it. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of, I've seen it from two sides of the coin per se, which is like one from a demand side point, right? Like the AI demand has meant that the number of construction projects taking place has gone up astronomically, so. And there's only so many people in the market who know how to be able to build these complex facilities. Yeah. And so all of a sudden that skills gap is even larger than it was beforehand. And we already had a challenge beforehand. Now, in terms of like how we're leveraging AI internally from our development standpoint, it's been massive for us such that, you know, there's a number of things that we've been able to do and completely automate out. For example, we're able to tie in the construction schedule to the design models, completely automated through AI. And as the projects are growing in size and scale, it's learning from that previous data to be able to advise then going forward how to actually improve the build process itself, how to improve the build sequence itself. And so, yeah, so I've kind of seen it from the demand standpoint in terms of the customers that we have growing, as well as our own internal developments and leveraging AI. I, I can only imagine, I mean, as, as something you're, you're sort of, you're developing these amazing new solutions and along the way, I'm sure there are challenges that have come up. How are you addressing some of those? Yeah, I suppose like uh, most of the people trying to take it one step at a time, right? Um, yeah. You know, being in the construction space and the construction technology space, and then to add to that, the construction hardware technology space yeah. has meant that we've gone through a series of challenges in terms of like meeting regulatory compliances, to be able to then accurately being able to impose, uh, superimpose that information out on site from a technological limitation. And so I think it's just been about building the right team, about building the right culture, and just believing that anything is possible. You know? Yeah. Anything else you'd like to leave? I mean, we're starting the, the show and I, I do you have a, a nice schedule planned over the next couple of days? Yeah, I've got like a packed schedule now, just uh, filled with meetings, meeting potential contractors, subcontractors, as well as clients and asset owners and partnering up with them yeah. and being able to improve their speed to market itself. And so 
today uh, we're hosting a lunch and learn and oh, nice. so uh, yeah. invite everybody there to be able to come so join. what's the name of the lunch and learn uh just a construction welcome lunch and okay learn. yeah um but essentially you're going to go over all the case studies from what we've seen over the course of the last year by deploying our solution in the market and what i would say is that like there are solutions out there in order to be able to build a right the first time and improve that speed to market and so i invite everybody in the marketplace to you know connect with us and partner up and on this journey together yeah and so for those that aren't here at dcd connect mm. london today uh, for anyone who can't come to the lunch and learn although sure. anyone who's here should definitely go to that uh, how can they reach you after after yeah today? you can find me on linkedin uh, you can find my team on linkedin xyz reality uh and then on our website xyzreality.com you'll be able to find a number of case studies demo videos and everything else in between we're pretty mm -hmm. open about all the findings and case studies and everything else and so uh please feel free to deep dive in and when you're ready feel free to reach out Amazing. Thank you so much. Really, thanks, thanks, so much, thanks for Bob. joining us today. We really appreciate it. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV, coming to you today live from DCD Connect London. Stay tuned as we'll be bringing you more interviews throughout the day. Until next time.